Hello, hello, welcome back to another vlog. I've just come back from walking Molly, so she's looking at me very expectantly for her breakfast. And um, yes, yeah, so I've just done my little skincare routine as well. I haven't put any makeup on though because we're going out later and I want to put makeup on then instead of now. So let's get Molly's breakfast ready and we can chat. Last night I started to notice my chest tightening up and a couple of weeks ago I had a chest infection and I was put on a bunch of tablets which then made me feel better. Last night when I felt my chest tightening up and like when I, when I breathe in so it feels like it's stuck, like the breath up here is stuck and I'm not able to get a free breath and I wonder actually if it's because it's been colder the past couple of days when I was put on a bunch of tablets, it started, the weather was starting to warm up. And so my nose was decongested. Is that when it opens up? I think so. So yes, my nose was a bit decongested. So then I could breathe like fully. And of course my inhalers and everything helped. I think it was just a combination of things. And then last night I could feel tightness and oh, I'm starting to get worried now because I'm just like, well, why is it come back? I'm gonna call the doctors tomorrow morning and maybe we get those tablets again because i do have like a checkup on whether i'm asthmatic or not um in may but in the meantime my mum's got surgery tomorrow and then i will be looking after her i don't want to be ill and then i don't want to be passing things on to her oh i do think maybe it's something to do with my nose because my nose has been so blocked maybe it's that molly was just staring at me like i can see you've got my food give it to me Come on, boys. Okay. Okay. Go get your breakfast. I've just made myself a cup of tea. Just some warm peppermint, fennel, spearmint tea. Also, if you can hear that, that's Molly eating breakfast. Today, this morning, what I wanted to do is to try and prime this mirror and then start painting it. We have some quick drying prime. You see where like the wall is white and then the stairs are white and then obviously like the half wall is a sandy colour. This mirror feels quite off being this cream colour. So we're just going to paint it white. Right, I think I've prepped <laughs> the mirror. I've put some tape over it because I am a messy painter and I finally got the primer as well. I'm gonna give this a quick prime or a couple of coats because actually that one is super thin and dries very quickly. I can't fully breathe, but I've just done the first layer of that undercoat. It literally looks no different, does it? But trust me, I have painted. <laughs> it's just the way this undercoat is. I had to, um put like two or three coats for it actually to make a difference um in one of our doorways because I just could not see it but no it is there and I will do a couple more coats as well before I go on to the paint and this is my second cup of tea now hopefully the warm is hitting my lungs <laughs> in all the right ways Look at those eyes. Just look at them. Yay! It's coffee time. Thank you, Philip. Phil and his child. You guys good? <laughs> Don't mind the slithers of hair across my forehead. Coffee is good. We have just returned from doing the weekly food shop. Actually, it was more like monthly with some of the things that we needed, like laundry detergent um fairy liquid things like that and we're just gonna put those away and we will then continue painting well you and i will continue painting the mirror i've uh, changed my outfit back to my housewear and i'm gonna continue on painting so i'll show you what the mirror looks like now honestly to the camera and like the naked eye it looks barely any different but it is now primed here oh hello <laughs> this is me in the water filter 
I have to keep reminding myself to drink water because I have been terrible recently with my water intake. Um, that's not the point though. Here we go. You can see like this is obviously like, a little bit more faint and it is dry. It is a quick drying primer. I think in an ideal world, maybe I would have primed this had I had more time. I think I would have primed this several more times, but I also do think it's okay to now get painted on. We have some high gloss white paint, which I'm gonna use now on it. To, I do need to be very careful because I don't wanna drip anything down there. And yeah, let's get onto that. Phil's accusing me of listening to corn <laughs> because I'm listening to the 5 a.m. club <laughs> while painting. <laughs> It's not, to clarify, it's not. <laughs> I have, I think, uh, finished sort of one coat of the paint. Let me show you. Here it is. I think that's like one paint. It needs like several more. Um, and then to get in like the nooks and crannies. <laughs> and <Yeah>. then <laughs> the nooks and the crannies. Yeah. And then we can... Um, and like look at the finishing touches and then take the tape off and stuff as well when this is dry mm. are we going to give it a little bit of a buff a little bit of a sand yeah if we need to definitely mm. got paint on your camera <laughs> <laughs> look at her face she's so bored <laughs> i'm on tea number three of the day and my breathing's a bit better and also we have breakfast croissant um, my breathing is a bit better, but it's still not like, see, it's, <laughs> I don't know why I said see. Oh, I think it's your parents. Oh my gosh, Molly's going to be so excited. So Phil's parents are, have just arrived, his dad and his mum. Oh, brilliant. Molly's going to be so excited. Phil's dad and um, nephew arrived and Molly just went wild for them. She was so excited. We are going to go to our wedding venue all together. When I get back, we, we're going to paint the rest of the mirror. And then if I finish it off today, I'll show you. Oh, hey, we are back from the fair and we had such a lovely time. Oh, hey trying to find my crocs we had such a lovely time at the wedding fair honestly it was incredible it was better than i expected um but now that we're back i am here to paint the rest of the mirror let me show you what it looks like with one coat i bet you're sick of seeing me in this in this reflection um but this is what the mirror looks like you can see over here right it's a little patchy um I don't know whether we need to sound that, as Phil said earlier, I'm not sure. Ta-da! Oh. My butt. You got paint on your butt. Yes. Yeah, you do. You actually do. The mirror is done. I wouldn't say this is done done. It's just done for today because I've done two coats of paint and overall it's not too bad. You can see like fine little bits there. I don't know if that's focusing enough. And so that needs sort of finer sort of scraping and getting rid of. And then there's also like tiny little bits here that need a touch of paint which I will do when it's when this is all dry and then at some other point. Um, in the meantime, this is it. Thank you for sticking around with me, keeping me company while I just paint a mirror. So thrilling, I know. Um, it's been a good day so far, to be fair. And that was my little frog for the day, was to paint that. Ideally, I would have finished that, but that's fine because I can put that as a finishing thing for one of my goals for this week coming and then I can do the stairs as well. So what I did with the stairs, I actually ended up painting this bit. So two of the panels of the stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, my nose is getting blocked again. But I would like to fully paint the, repaint the stairs again at some point. I'm gonna put that on my list for next week. Let's see if we get to it. Anyhow, thank you for keeping me company while I paint a mirror. And thank you for watching if you stuck around this long. Um, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button. You know the drill, all the jazzy buttons and whatnot. Anyhow, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.